Okay, so let's quickly review last time uh, what we did, which this was factoring uh, trinomials. And we go, oh, a trinomial is going to break up into two binomials. One which will be like x and x for the front, because x times x gives me x squared. And then we thought about what would multiply together to give us this, but add together to give us this. And the numbers that would make that work would be 3 and 7. And that would be my answer. Today we're going to kind of do um, a little bit of this and some stuff that we've done in the past. So let's start off with our first kind of example. Let's say we've been given this example. The first thing that you want to do in this kind of example is remember from before when we factored out the number or just the like the number that they all have in common. So we could see for this one that they all have a 3 in common. So I could pull out a 3 and be given x squared plus 3x plus 2. And now I can now look at the inside and go, ooh, what could the inside factor into? Well, the inside could factor into x plus 2 and x plus 1. Let's try another example. Again, for this one, I'm going to look across and see what numbers they all have in common. 4, negative 32, and 24. Oh, they all have 4 in common. So I'm going to take out a 4. I'm going to get x squared minus 8x plus 6. Once I have that, what I'm going to do is now I'm going to factor this into a little bit smaller factors. Which for here, again I'll get x and x. And then with this 6, I have to think about what's going to make 6 go to 8. And when I think about that, the only factors of 6 are 6 and 1, and 2 and 3. And there would be nothing that would multiply together to give me 6, but add together to give me negative 8. So this one actually won't factor any further. So sometimes you can make the things factor further, and sometimes you can't. So if you can't make something factor further, you just leave it. If you can, you factor further. We're going to look at one last thing, and it's this example right here. It's when you've been given two things, and when you've been given two things, you still want to do the same thing that we've done before. We want to think about what multiplies together to give me the back number, but adds together to give me my middle number. Well, for my middle number this time, this thing is zero. So I have to think of something that would multiply together to give me negative 36, but add together to give me 0. Well, 6 times 6 gives you 36, but it's negative, so one of them has to be negative. And negative 6 plus 6 would give me 0. Oh, so I should just have x plus 6 and x minus 6.